This year has been an especially difficult year to be an evergreen tree, especially a spruce. Three different diseases are attacking our spruce this year. Two of them are caused by a fungus, rhizosphera needle cast and cytospora canker. And the third is caused by environmental conditions and it's called winter injury. In front of me is a spruce tree that is suffering from rhizosphera needle cast. Now rhizosphera needle cast can be identified relatively easily. It only shows symptoms on last year's needles. So as you can see, this year's needles are blue, as a blue spruce should be, and last year's are dark green turning brown. Upon further inspection with a hand lens or some kind of a magnifying glass, you'll be able to see small black fruiting bodies on the needle, which is another indi good indication of rhizosphera needle cast. Now, what you want to do uh, with this disease is remove any of the needles that will fall in late summer. This is a fungal disease that is spread to the tree by rain splash, and it'll move from the bottom to the top of the tree. So when it does cast these dead needles in late spring, make sure you rake them out. The second most prevalent disease of spruce that we say is called Cytospora canker. And like Rhizosphera needle cast, Cytospora canker is also caused by a fungus. Now this fungus gets into the tree via wound sites. Now those wound sites can occur from natural pruning or from insects boring into the stems. Regardless, the fungus needs those sites and once inside the plant causes the plant to form this white milky exudate. It's a sappy exudate that gets exuded out onto the stem and leaks down. So that's a really good sign of this disease. Uh, the second thing that you need to look for with Cytospora canker is, as the name applies, it's a canker. So instead of seeing uh, various needles fall or become darkened in color throughout the tree, you'll see an entire limb or an entire stem completely die out. The only thing that you can do to get rid of Cytospora canker is to prune these dead areas out. Unfortunately, this will um, hurt the aesthetics of your tree, but if you want to keep the rest of your tree from succumbing to the disease, you need to prune out these dead infested areas. Finally, let's take a look at winter injury in Norway spruce. Behind me is a Norway spruce displaying classic symptoms of winter injury. You'll see that the very top of the tree, about the top foot to foot and a half, has lost all of its needles. And directly below that, the tree is healthy and it has its needles. Last winter was exceptionally warm and windy. Now evergreens photosynthesize throughout the whole year. Oftentimes people forget to water their trees in the winter and so you end up with a tree that loses its needles at the very, very top. So remember, during the winter, during periods of hot, dry weather, water your evergreens. It's important to remember that one single spruce tree can have all three diseases at the same time, which makes diagnosis difficult. Remember that a happy tree is a healthy tree. Ensure adequate water and nutrition to help minimize the risk of spruce diseases.